Hello, this is Jeff Ryle from Leica Geosystems in Houston. This is going to be the first of three videos on, on how to hook up a um, hotspot, which is going to be the AT&T Nighthawk to your CS15. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to back up all the jobs and settings from your CS15 because we want to format the system RAM, internal memory, just to blow everything out and start everything on a clean slate. Um, if you need to load firmware, we'll, I'll show you how to do that. Once again, put the firmware on the SD card under the system subdirectory. This data collector runs version 8, so that worked out well, so I recommend version 8 or higher. Um, and then after we load and format everything, we'll reload the code list, coordinate systems, geo models, and get it ready to set up a, a work style. That'll be on video number 2. So let's take a quick look at the video on how to do this. Okay, the first thing we do is we're going to back up all our jobs, so hit function minimize, then go to my device. Then we come here to Leica Geo Systems, SmartWorks, go to DBX subdirectory. That's where all the jobs are. I just have a couple, so I'll hit, hit Edit, Select All, then hold the key down on the blue, then hit Copy. <clears throat> then I'll arrow back up and go back to the SD card. And then I can hit DBX, hold it, that key down, hit Paste. And I can go back in regularly and, uh, to the previous screen and delete those jobs. We're going to format the internal memory. But that's how you clean up your jobs, back them up. What I'll also do is we'll go back, click on here to SmartWorks, hit number four, user, four tools, one transfer objects. And I could back up my work style from internal to the SD card. And then I go through, back up my server list. Uh, we already did the jobs. Geodal field file. If you do format files, back that up. And then coordinate systems, code lists. And then that should back everything up before we format everything. Okay, so that's really important to back your jobs up in your settings. Basically what I do now is come through and I hit format. It says under tools, let's go back to the main screen. So it's four. Four user, four tools, then format, and that format system RAM. I've already done this, but it'll reboot, come back into SmartWorks, then do internal memory. And all that stuff is backed up. Then what we do is we're going to format or, or reset windows. So before we set up our, our hotspot, we want to make sure everything is flushed out. So we're going to format system RAM, internal memory. We're going to hold the power key down for a few seconds at the bottom is reset. And then I'd come down here and reset Windows CE and installed software. I'm not going to do it, but that would do a full reset. And then we'll go back in. Now, if you're going to upload firmware, this has firmware version 8. We'd recommend a very current firmware version. Make sure you've got a fully charged battery. And then hit User, Tools, Load Firmware. And beyond the, the SD card, um, and then you click this button, then hit OK. It'll take around uh, 25 minutes to, to do that, to load the firmware. Okay, so once the firmware is reloaded, we can come back in and reload our settings. We're going to recreate a new work style. So basically, we'd hit User, Tools, and then you say Transfer Objects. And we go back in and load all the ones that we, that we backed up. Okay. So once again, it's user, tools, transfer objects. So in this case, what we want to do is make sure we, we transfer from SD card to internal because they're backed up on the SD card. So we just change that settings and then change each code list, coordinate systems, server list, and transfer back on up. Just go through that list, hit your code list, coordinate systems. We're not going to do the RTK profile or the work styles because we'll recreate those from scratch. Okay. 